Hey there, Chris Kiak, steel construction technology consultant, and essentially here I am showcasing a very common workflow. I'm uh, using the Microsoft HoloLens 2, and uh, the software is Argyle built, and I actually don't have any building information model loaded today. This is purely a uh, overlaying and doing field measuring, um, essentially to figure out what it is I need to send to the back office um, to maybe detail some steel or some things that fit an as-built environment. This is really common, especially with stairs. Um, you know, concrete is already poured or walls are in place. You need to get field measurements in order uh, to design some handrail or stairs to. And essentially, what I did is I, um, the other day, because I built the building information model of my house, I actually, um, you know, did some dimensions here and just some manual measuring. And now, what I wanted to do is I wanted to compare this to um, you know, using Argyle to, and its length measurement to actually see if I'm pretty close. Why would I do this compared to the measuring safe? Well, first of all, I demonstrated yesterday a Magion, and that allowed me to actually have a live feed to my HoloLens to the back office. And so if I could record that video, take snapshots of these dimensions, and then feed that back uh, to the office, Essentially, that is way easier to do than writing everything down on a piece of paper and then trying to get a detailer in the back office to understand what it is that I'm looking at and dimensioned. The other thing too, boy, I, I have been in multiple instances where I've got a guy on the field and I tell him, hey, I need you to measure this, 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 and this, and they don't, they don't get quite exactly what I need. And so there's that miscommunication in multiple cycle times or multiple times where I'm going back and forth to get uh, the right information. Whereas again, with Argyle and Imagian, like I can actually, um, you know, have a live feed to the detailer in the back office, and then I could just say, "Hey, what do you want?" He could uh, point a push pin out to me and tell me what it is that he wants me to measure. So let's go ahead and check and see if some of these existing dimensions are good. So 11 foot five um, and roughly three eighths there, right? So I just put a tape measure on the ground and I got as close to on top of the trim. There's a little bit of lag there, but I have 11 foot. I have got five, and there I'm actually, looks like I'm at about, let's see, let's bring it up here, a little bit uh, around a half. So, and I've got a little bit of lag there, so I might be, oh, look at that, it gets even closer. That is really pretty solid. Um, so, essentially, sorry about the noise, let's see if we can get this back. Even at a pretty decent distance here of measuring by myself, this got really accurate. Let's go double check a couple other spots. So yesterday, I was trying to get in here. So three feet, and two, yeah, almost three foot three. That's pretty good. That's pretty accurate. And then here, I thought I measured like three foot oh and an eighth or something like that yesterday. So three foot oh and a sixteenth. Um, I know I messed this up because I kept seeing this get distorted here. So let's actually turn this up say they're upside correct so everybody can see it. So we've got 31 and a half inches. So it looks like I didn't get this one uh, perfect. So that one I may have just not gotten the corners pretty well but so far I'm, I'm pretty impressed. So 5 foot 11 here and I think I measured this at 71 inches on uh, for the table Yep, yesterday. I've got the tablecloth on there, so it might be a little bit inaccurate, but look at that, 70, 71 inches. So I got 71 and what looks like about an eighth, um, you know, pretty close. I mean, for, for measuring some concrete in order to do some handrail and things too, honestly, those dimensions are close enough for what I would probably need. And uh, so let's actually demonstrate how you do it. If we go in here to tools, we'll go to measure length. Now, there's a couple different strategies I've been noticing when I do this. Like, uh, first thing is, if you're kind of doing a big dimension, it sort of makes sense to kind of be away from the end handle um, of this because you sort of have to kind of get the end points into space. And uh, when you're like, if you're like right up on it, you can do it that way too, but you have to follow your hand all the way because the HoloLens has to see, you know, the hologram. So I'm a little bit off here because I didn't get that endpoint quite right. 
Let's see, two foot nine and a half. Let's see. There's another lesson learned. Probably won't snap multiple dimensions too close to each other. But two foot, looks like two foot nine. So let me compare that to my sheet. And I had 33 inches, which uh, that's correct, right? So 36 would be three foot. So there we go. That's, that's pretty impressive. So again, just another use case of immersive augmented reality, hands-free, right? Like I basically am using my hands-free, I can do actions, I can make things happen. And again, if I link this with Imagine, where I can have somebody in the back office just get these dimensions and talk to me about what they need, I can get everything done right the first time. If you found this content useful, please subscribe to our channel and press the alerts button to be notified when we upload new content.